Kat and welcome back to my channel. We are doing an ab workout. I did this on Wednesday, like just during my regular workout. And then I did it again on Saturday to film the actual video. And it hurt so much. I was surprised that I was still sore. Now these are four moves that you do back to back to back to back and then rest for one to two minutes and then do the entire thing four times. That's what I did. If you can do it five or six times, that's great for you. I couldn't though, because it really hurts and it's difficult. I love this workout because you can do it at the gym with their equipment, or if you don't have time to get to the gym or you just don't wanna to get to the gym, you can do it in your bedroom, in your living room, in your kitchen, outside, wherever you want, and you'll still get the same results. I'll add in this extra ab circuit like three to four times a week. And then I also combine that with cardio three to four times a week, which is gonna help you to really burn away the fat of course you need to remember that if you're trying to burn belly fat or any fat all, all over your body it's mostly what you eat I've heard that it's 70% diet 30% gym and I've also heard that it's 80% diet and 20% gym so whichever one is right Clearly what you eat is a much bigger portion of how you're going to lose weight, but of course it is still important to get to the gym and get your workout in and work those abs and work on that cardio. And of course, you can let me know in the comments what types of workouts you wanna see, if you wanna see more at home workouts, if you wanna see more in the gym workouts. I really like doing both. And of course, I still do a lot of cleaning and organization videos on my channel as well. So if you like those, subscribe. No matter what your fitness goal is, I really think that combining this ab workout with a little bit of cardio or a lot of cardio, whatever you prefer, will really help you to reach that and I enjoy it. So I hope that you enjoy watching this workout. I hope you get your butt to the gym and do this workout or your abs, I hope you get abs to the gym and do this workout and let's get started. Now remember, this is a circuit. So there are gonna be four moves and you're gonna do it back to back to back to back and then complete that entire circuit four to five times. So starting out, we are doing leg lifts and I love these because you can adjust it to your level. If they're a little more challenging, go ahead and put your hands under your butt. That will help you to lift. And then if they're not that difficult and you wanna make it a little more challenging, Challenging, throw some ankle weights on or if you're in the middle you can just do what I'm doing here and keep your hands flat besides your butt and then don't put any extra weight on and we are doing 15 of those as soon as you finish those leg lifts dive right into these bicycle curls we are doing 25 these hurt they really hurt I was dying once I did this like the second and third time oh my gosh it kills you want to do 25 of these again to make it a little more challenging throw on some ankle weights once you have finished 25 of those, we are diving right into Russian twists. You can grab a medicine ball, a kettlebell like I have, a jug of milk if you're at home, or if you wanna just use body weight, totally fine as well. And we are doing 20 Russian twists. For this, you really wanna feel the stretch when you twist each side, and you also wanna keep those feet above the ground, don't let them touch, and try and keep your back as straight as possible. As soon as you finish 20 of those, put that weight down and get into a plank position. We are going to hold this for 30 seconds and once you have done that you can collapse rest for one to two minutes and complete the entire circuit four to five more times if you can only do three that's totally okay just make sure that you're really pushing yourself through all of the movements and you will see results so like i said in the intro it's also important to incorporate cardio into your workout routine if you're trying to shed the pounds something that i like to do is jump rope it's fun it's engaging and it gets your heart rate up another one that i really love is the elliptical this is a low impact on your knees if you're like me and you hate cardio so you want to get it done as fast as possible I recommend HIIT training which is high intensity interval training for the elliptical what I will do is 30 seconds of a regular pace and then one minute and 30 seconds of a super fast pace I will up that resistance to like 15 or 16 and that is going to get your heart rate going if you repeat this process for 15 to 20 minutes that is what I like to do, and that's how I've seen results. Hi again, guys. I really hope that you liked that workout. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so that you never miss another workout with me. And I think that's about all I have to say. So I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Such a beautiful job. Can't get